just a summary of how to dream this last like five minutes. So you may either be an absolute beginner or you don't have any plugins on your computer. Well, lucky for you, I'm going to be showing you how to edit a Fortnite montage for 100% free with no plugins in DaVinci Resolve. If you guys do enjoy the video, you want to support me, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I hope it helps you out. And with all that out the way, let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing what you're going to do once you're actually inside of DaVinci Resolve, just go into new project. And then from there, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go no plugin tutorial or something like that. So just type that in, press create. And then once I'm actually inside of my project, I'm going to come up here to file, go project settings and then change the frame rate to 60 as well as make sure the resolution is at 1920 by 1080 press save and then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to find any sort of song that i feel like i could sing to so i'm just going to throw in a 637 godwin song she wants it and then from there i'm going to get you know a few clips just like this and i'm going to drag that in as well now what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag in the song we're just going to kind of cut down around the part that we want to use so for me it's going to be this little portion right here and all i'm going to do is i'm going to lay down markers on the beats that we're going to be using so what we're actually going to do is we're going to be adding markers to every single kill and then we're going to be lining them up with each marker on the song and that looks good just like this you're going to repeat this for all of your clips All right, the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be right clicking on every clip and unlinking the audio from the clip itself. That way we don't mess up the audio when we add effects. From there, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be right clicking on each clip. I'm going to be going into the retime controls, adding a speed point on the kill and changing the speed afterwards to 50% and then readjusting the length. All right, so once I actually have all of the retiming done, we can see that we got the slow-mo on every single kill on beat. We're going to be adding some effects. So just come on over here to your effects library. If you don't have that open, just click up here, go to the, just drag an adjustment clip over top and align them just like this so it actually starts on the kill and ends at the very end of the clip and just do that for each kill here from there i'm going to be showing you some effects that you can add to these you don't exactly have to follow what i'm doing but you know these are just some built-in davinci resolve effects so the first effect i'm going to show you is camera shake and once you actually have it in here you can just disconnect this line and connect it just like this and what i'm going to be doing is at the beginning i'm going to be keyframing the overall strength at one going to the very end right here and keyframing it at zero and then we're also going to make sure that we have mirror selected for edges right here the next shake i'm going to be showing you guys is a y shake that you could also add to your clip as well so for this just drag your x and your rotation deviation down you can change your y deviation to something like 0 0.3 0 0.4 something like that and then leave the speed and all that to itself and then mirror you can also make it so it's just gonna be a brief little 10 frame thing so keyframe the beginning at one and then 10 frames in keyframe it at zero that should be pretty much good and then lastly i'm going to be showing you you can do something like a flick addition just like this and you can keyframe at the very beginning and change the blend right here keyframe the blend come over to settings keyframe the blend at the beginning to one go to the very end drag it down to zero just like that and then also you can add something like a glow these are non uh, plug-in effects right here so we can just add keyframe the glow right here go to the very end Drag it down to zero. That's a cool little impact right there. And you can almost add that to every single clip. It'll look good. I'll have a sample in the intro that you guys will see what this actually looks like when it's completely done. And then once we've actually done effects, honestly, what we can do is we can literally just copy this and put it on every single kill that we've actually added here. So we can see just like that. It looks pretty, pretty good. And then from there, all we're going to do is transition. So we can drag in like a cross dissolve between the clips here using DaVinci's built in uh, effects library. We can do like a slide, a movement transition, anything like that. Just pretty simple. And, you know, I always like to fade in the intro, just adding final effects. And honestly, something you could do if you really want to is something like a color correction on your clip. So you can just come to your clip here, go to the color tab right here. And if you come to this little circle right here, you can adjust these things manually. So if you want to increase the saturation or the hue or the highlight i normally drag up the highlight as well as the saturation just makes it look a lot better um but yeah you can manually adjust that for all your clips but yeah that's pretty much how you actually edit your very own montage with no plugins if you guys did enjoy make sure to go check out the no plugin presets in the description for 100 free in the google drive that's gonna be the first link in the description and as always i will see you guys in a future video on the channel peace out